What is up, folks? The bum is back. Yeah, I'm calling myself a bum. Uh, but I'm back with some grappling stuff. CJI continues to drop bombshells, and today they dropped a ginormous one. We knew Fionn Davies was in for a super fight, and that got dropped, but her opponent also got dropped today. Uh, our good friend Alex Wendling and uh, Matt Scaff predicted this in one of their live streams, which is crazy because they thought it was going to be an MMA person, and guess what? It was. Today we found out Fionn Davies will take on Mackenzie Dern, 2015 ADCC world champion. Mackenzie Dern is making the move to CJI to compete against Fionn Davies. Craig Jones Invitational goes down the same weekend as ADCC. And uh, Mackenzie Dern, we haven't seen on the jiu-jitsu scene since, I want to say, 2017. We'll look at her BJJ Heroes page. But she made the move and the transition to MMA. And we've seen her in the UFC. And we've seen her do her stuff. And uh, she's obviously got the submission skills because she's utilized that inside the octagon. But we haven't seen her in a, in a straight jiu-jitsu match for quite some time. And uh, this will be very interesting because Fionn Davies has blown up on the scene and has sort of taken over. So let's look at a few other things here. We get uh, Craig Jones's reaction. Uh, he announced it today as well. So if we go over to CJI and we uh, click on this Craig Jones one. This one Yesterday, in dodging bullets in Donbass on the front line. Today, came back to Kiev. What did I do? Just signed the biggest women's grappling match in history. We already had Fionn Davies. Now we have Mackenzie Dern too. Guys, that is fucking massive. I hope you bought your tickets. And if you didn't, Probably because the website didn't work, but get back on there. Fucking try again. <laughs> yeah, now Mackenzie Dern uh, and Fionn Davies, there we go, announced. A ton of uh, uh, people announced for this as well. They've got the tickets now on sale. That dropped yesterday, I believe. And it also shows all of the competitors that have officially been announced thus far with five spots left in both divisions. So we don't know who they will have for those spots, but we've got the super fight announced and here's the little video, um, Alex Wendling and Matt Scaff. And well, who do you think Fionn could be going up against at CJI? It's going to be an MMA fighter. Uh, Lindsay Dern? Uh, just signed the biggest women's grappling match in history. We already had Fionn Davies. Now we have Mackenzie Dern too. Are they mind readers? Do they know ahead of time? I don't think so. But uh, pretty cool because, again, an MMA person, obviously Craig, he said he wanted to bring the MMA audience, and that's why they got the 10-point the must system scoring. And, uh, yeah, let's look at Craig interviewed Fionn Davies on the B-Team Jiu-Jitsu YouTube channel, and this is her talking about um, on joining CJI. So let's have a little peep at this. Saying it like that, I feel like it sounds weird. I approached you, as you know, informing. But like, and I was like, I want to join them, please. <laughs> please. Like, I've been looking for, sense. I've been looking for some attention. So um, no, I, <laughs> I want to ride off the back of yours. Um, but no, like, I, I really did like, with ADCC, my thoughts on it before were kind of like, if they didn't add a new women's division, I was like, right, I'm in my rebel era, let's go. Like, it's good, a nice way to get out of doing ADCC, you know? Um, so, yeah, I was like, I want to join in if there's a chance to join in, and I thought it might be a good, like a good thing. You know, to get the prize money up in general, I think it's it's really important to me, and particularly for the women. Like, I don't really care about them. <laughs> no, I do care about the men when it's Gabrielle, oh, so that I can have. A <laughs> Interesting take because you know she approached Craig, uh, very cool because it's not that she was against against ADCC, but she wants money in the sport of jiu-jitsu and not just for the men but for the women as well and and from what craig said it's not there for the men either obviously the big guys himself gordon ryan and these guys they're selling instructionals they're selling all this other stuff and they're able to make some funds on top of what they make for jiu-jitsu but when you're making ten thousand dollars to win adcc it's not enough and, and we've heard about this in in numerous interviews with numerous people it's just not enough. It, it makes zero sense to me why they haven't grown over the years. But we see Fionn Davies come over to CJI, arguably one of the biggest names in women's grappling and women's Brazilian jiu-jitsu or jiu-jitsu, whatever you want to call it. Coming over to CJI is huge. And to have a face like Mackenzie Dern join 
to compete against her is enormous. And I give props to Craig on, on these names that they've brought over. And I, I mean, initially it was for the money, but I, I think now it's, it's a little bit more than that, to be honest with you. Um, not necessarily clout either. It's, it's money. It's what he's doing for the sport. It's, uh, you know, the giving back to charity and all that other kind of stuff. It's just doing a lot for the sport of grappling. And I truly hope that this becomes more than just this year. Like he wants to do it yearly. I hope CJI blows up and, uh, and we get to see it year in, year out. Same weekend in August of every year, not just every two years like ADCC. And we see grappling blow up even more than it already is. Let's head on over to BJJ Heroes. Uh, we can see both women are in the 58 kilogram division. So it's it's a super fight regardless because it's one versus one. It's not in the tournament. But these two are actually in the same weight division for the most part. Um, they've competed at various weight classes. But if you look up at Fionn Davies' weight division right here, she's at 58.5 kilograms. And the same goes for Mackenzie Dern. Her submission... 47 submissions, 78 wins, 20 by points, 4 by advantage, 47 by submission, then 7 by decision, only 14 losses, 78 victories. And she's riding quite the streak as we speak. Dating back to the PANS finals in 2023, she's beaten a ton of competitors. She won ADCC 2022, and then she went on, obviously, as I said, she lost PANS, but then she went on to win the World Championships. She competed at WNO, she competed at Nogi Worlds, Polaris, Subversion, like the list goes on and she's beaten some big names in the sport. She's training with some great training partners. She was training with uh, JT Torres and, and he was getting helping her get ready for some of her camps. She's very impressive. And then we look at the other side of the coin and we've got Mackenzie Dern, who hasn't competed in some time. 75 wins, 45 submissions, 14 by point, 7 by advantage, 7 by decision, and 25 losses. Interesting that her go-to submission here is a toehold. We'll see if she tries to pull that one off. But again, she hasn't competed in professional grappling since 2017, where she lost at ADCC. Um, her last big victories came at the Rio Fall Open. She competed at Fight to Win 25 where she competed in the Gi, uh, the European Open, some big names, but she didn't hasn't won ADCC since 2015, where she beat Michelle Nicolini in the finals. She beat Bia Mesquita, referee decision points in the finals. So she hasn't been on the mats in terms of jiu-jitsu in quite some time, like we said, but this is arguably a matchup. I mean, Craig's touting it as the biggest matchup the greatest matchup in women's grappling history. Do you believe it is? I, I'm pretty stoked to see this because it's like the true changing of the guard uh, in terms of old school versus new school. It, it'll be interesting to see the tactics and the game plan that each of these females come up with. Uh, so I'm excited for August, and I'm excited to see the next five announced for each weight division. So let me know in the comment section below whether you believe that this is the greatest matchup in women's grappling history. Let me know who you think maybe the next five are for each weight division. And make sure you click that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to see when this bum comes out with videos again. Peace.